<laughs> what are you doing in there? Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And this is Miss Chaos. Let me see if I can get a better view of her. Hi. Hi, sweet lady. <laughs> You're showing me how sweet you are. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, Helena. Hi, Christina. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And this is Chaos Caracal, a female caracal. Whoop. <laughs> guess she wants a higher view for breakfast. And next door is Cyrus. Good morning, Noor. Male Caracal. Good morning, David. Hi, Karen. Hi, Cyrus. Hi, cute boy. Good morning, Heidi. Hey, Kara. Good morning, Andrea. Thank you guys for joining us this morning. So that was chaos that we were first looking at. I'll walk back over to her. Oh, thank you, Deborah, for the donation. And this is Cyrus. So they were male and female caracals. They had been housed together um, for the pet breeding industry, unfortunately. These are caracals. They belong in the wild. You can find caracals in India and Africa, if you're lucky. <laughs> They're very elusive. Not the common ones you'd see if you went on safari. What are you doing? So these guys are just waiting on breakfast. Here at Big Cat Rescue, we feed every morning between 8 and 9 a.m. The keepers are finishing up closing all the lockouts. Morning, Shelly. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Paula. Look at those ears. Hi, Casey. Cheryl, you did wake up just in time. We just got started. I had promised you guys on my live yesterday that we would try to see leopards today. And so I figured I'd start with the caracals. We'll stop by Nikita and then we'll head down the whole back part of the sanctuary, which is the leopards. Thank you to everybody who's sharing this live feed. Thank you to all of my uh, moderators and regulars that are sharing links and answers to any of your questions. Usually when I'm out with the cats, I get a little distracted and I, sometimes I miss questions or people saying hello and it's not intentional. Rachel, I agree. I think <laughs> Cyrus agrees too. He is not a pet. He doesn't understand it either. Uh, I, I have a feeling for most people it's, you know, it's an ego thing to say they have an exotic cat as a pet. But also, unfortunately, with these smaller cats like servals, bobcats, caracals, people think because they're smaller they'd be more manageable, and that is the exact opposite. Sadly, Cyrus is declawed, which I think they also thought would make him less dangerous, but he's still got some monster teeth. Deb, I'm glad you got to watch today too. I've really been missing you in my, in my comments. Everybody does a great job, but I love seeing your Gerbera Daisy pop up. <laughs> hey, Sean. It's just so unfortunate because these guys obviously fail as having, you know, the ability to become pets and then they're abandoned. Hi. Thankfully, though, with supporters. Hi. That's Marie. Marie's our morning meds keeper and Sue uh, is our coordinator today. And this is Chaos Caracal, the female. So they were housed together, obviously, for the, the pet industry when they came here because we don't believe in breeding for life in prison. We made sure that they were both spayed and neutered. We did try to put them back together, but we quickly realized that they have no interest in living together. 
poor Cyrus had a little limpy foot and then Chaos had a limpy foot and we realized that they were definitely love-hating each other. They really don't even try to like lay near each other um, in these enclosures either. Look at her, she's like, ma'am, go away. You're so silly, Chaos. See, go away. Yeah, these two really enjoy this enclosure over here. I think Cyrus is still a little paranoid. There's a lot of noises, lots of birds, squirrels, all that kind of stuff. So, look at her. <laughs> if you can't see my face, you can't see me. <laughs> all right, I'm taking the hint. One more little glimpse at Cyrus here. Yesterday, we spent pretty much all morning with the Bobcats, and the first cat we checked in with was Tom Tom, and she's doing well. All right, sir, I'm gonna go over and talk to the cat you keep staring at, which is Nikita. Look at that tail. I always tell him he has a wiggle worm tail. <laughs> Very expressive. All right, bye, bud. You enjoy your breakfast, okay? You enjoy that breakfast. Look at those ears. It's got little pom-pom ears. All right, so again, if you guys are just joining in, we've seen Chaos and Cyrus Caracal. Again, if you're brand new to us, let us know in the comments. We, we really do encourage you guys to ask questions. There are tons of regulars in the comments that can help answer anything that you're wondering about. We go live a lot, and you can re-watch all of those either, sometimes they're a little tough to find on our main Facebook page, but you can go to dailybigcat.com. It's a YouTube channel where all of these kind of unscripted, unproduced videos go. Our main YouTube channel, which we are still trying to get to our million subscribers, is bigcattv.com. That's the quick link to get there. Let's find our queen. She's not over at lockout yet. Diane, everybody says that we need male lions. Um, I mean, I agree, a male lion is the whole reason I came to Big Cat Rescue. But it is sad to see them caged. And it's kind of nice that not as many need rescuing. But unfortunately, a lot of facilities want them and we offer to take them anytime that we hear of one in need. Hi, Nikita. But we require in order to rescue a cat that the facility or the individual sign paperwork that they'll never own big cats again. And not all rescue facilities do that. And so they'll take anything. <laughs> we kind of have a little bit higher standard. Um, uh-oh, are we getting that ball? Whoa. Get that blue ball. <laughs> this is Nikita. She's our female lion <laughs> doing yoga with her ball. Whoa. <laughs> she has to put that ball in its place. Oh, boy. If you guys recall, last week I approached her while she was attacking her yellow ball. I've never seen anything like it. And it was hilarious, so let's see what's happening here. Probably more yoga. And so it's one of those things where, you know, if we ever get the chance to rescue a male lion, we definitely would. But... We also want to make sure that we're doing the right things here. Oh, what are you doing? You're so silly. Hi, lady. Are you trying to scratch? Oh, she's itching her neck and getting her sweet spot there. All you cats seem to have that sweet spot. I've noticed with Tiger Lily with grooming, which Yesterday I mentioned to you guys that I had them withhold her sickle so that I could go out and really try to get some grooming done. And I got a hold of that big mat that's on her uh, like chin area finally and gave it a good couple of little tugs and it made her so mad at me and it did not come out. It's really kind of still going to need some work around it. But after that she wouldn't trust me going around her cheeks. 
So it's gonna probably be a whole nother week of me just going out there to hand her treats, <laughs> making it up to her, and then I'll have to try again. I'm hoping it just comes off on its own eventually, but but I've noticed that it, both sides of her neck now create her little back feet to thump like that. It's really cute. Hey, where are you going? But I did get a ton of loose hair off of like her neck area and her forehead, which she gets matted really, really bad there. And so if I can stay ahead of it while she grows in her winter fur, I'm hoping that that helps. Where are we going? Where are we going? So again, this is Nikita Lion. It's a female, she's our lioness. I know. When they rub, don't don't show me your rear end, ma'am. <laughs> I've never had never had that, so I don't know if she'll spray me or not. <laughs> You're so goofy to, today. You wanna go to the roofed area where they feed ya? I'm just kind of walking around. <laughs> She's cracking me up today. Actually, this is the second hilarious interaction I've had with her in a week. So funny. I have not had any kind of update. I know Carol said something about there were still two tigers left at the wildlife way station in California. We offered to take them, but something about it wouldn't be till October, but I've had no new updates on that. So, <laughs> all right, now she's heading to the feeding lockout. So bear with me, we'll have to go the long way. So I don't know, we have a staff meeting today. I'm hoping that we'll get some updates maybe on those two, the Guatemala Tigers and anything else that's happening. I haven't been to a staff meeting in weeks because I was on vacation and missed one. And then with Carol and Catherine and Howard out of town at the Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance conference, we didn't have one last week. <laughs> so yeah, Nikita does allow grooming with the retractable scratchers, so that's most likely maybe what she's <laughs> why she's showing me her butt. Um, Afton does scratch her. I'm not sure if anybody else does. Hi, <laughs> you're so goofy. When I got trained, I was told that my two cats would be Tiger Lily and Pharaoh, and Tiger Lily's kind of a full-time job, so I really haven't asked if I could start scratching anyone else now that I'm out of the sort of the training um, time period, so we'll see. I'm pretty sure Hutch would allow it, <laughs> but Hutch has claws and we typically only do, oh, now we're marking our territory. Uh, we typically only do scratching for cats that have been declawed, because when you declaw a cat, they can't really help comb through their fur the way they could with claws. But even with claws and super old age, you'll still see some matting. This is private time. <laughs> She's cracking me up today. You're so silly. Yeah, this is private time. All right, we're not going to watch her use the bathroom for the rest of the... All right, let's head over to Natalia. She is one that I keep feeling bad. We just don't get to spend a lot of time with her, but mainly that's because I don't like to stress her out. She can get very pacey when you linger too long. I don't like doing that to her, but let's find her first of all. Natalia is an Amor Leopard. There she is. Hi, gorgeous. I know. All right, let me get back here a little bit. Hi, babe. Hi, gorgeous girl. This is Natalia. You can see she's a bit fluffier, fur fluffy, <laughs> and she's getting fluffier every day because it is cooling down here. She's super fascinated and distracted by Nikita in the mornings. So today's just going to be caracals and leopards. And tomorrow I'm hoping it'll be kind of another tiger day. Kind of seems like Tuesdays seem to be the small cat day and Thursdays tend to be tiger day. <laughs> Mondays have turned into medical day, which is why I don't usually do regular walkabouts on those days but we still go live for the medical procedures, so isn't she gorgeous? 
She looks like a little kitten even though she's over 17 years old. I know. Well, so here's the thing. I see somebody saying, I thought Nikki doesn't like to see other cats. She can't see other cats, but Natalia knows she's over there. This is Natalia's view of Nikita. So they can't actually see each other, but Natalia knows she's over there. Oh, scratching my tree. That's pretty cool. You can see her scratch marks there. That was very cool. You can see the discoloration on the tree. I agree, Deb. She is actually very short and long. So she appears to be much smaller than you think she is. In pictures, she looks bigger, but I tend to zoom in on her cute face. <laughs> she does have like the best leopard tail. I see Armani out behind her, so we'll go over Say hi to her as well. We're gonna work our way down the strip here to see all the leopards this morning. I know you keep walking away from me and I'm following. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Yep, so you guys have seen a lot of um, marking behaviors or territory behaviors. I saw Cyrus rubbing along the side of the cage. That's a way of him marking his territory and letting me know that that was his side and my side's my side. Chaos with her hissing. Natalia with her hissing and her tree scratching. And Nikita with her rubbing on the side of the cage and using the bathroom spraying urine. <laughs> that is, uh, those are all ways that these big cats mark their territory and kind of puts you in your place. Like, this is my area. So pretty. I just love how that little tail just never stops. All right, I'm just walking by. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. Let's go see Armani. Hi, Armani. Wow. Hi, lady. Armani Leopard. She is in her early 20s. Hey Andy. Good to see ya. <sighs> that platform tastes good. So everybody's just waiting on breakfast. They're all very close to their feeding lockouts. And see she's doing her rubbing. Yep, Natalia would be native to very cold climates, so that's why she's so long-haired versus Armani here. Leopards are also native to India and Africa, so warmer climates, so she's much shorter hair. Hi. <laughs> Thank you again to everybody helping answer everybody's questions. If anything gets missed, I reach out to you in the comments after the feed is over, probably after the staff meeting today too. Amy, most big cats live 10 to 12 years in the wild if they're lucky, if their prey doesn't fight back or no injuries or anything like that. But here at Big Cat Rescue, we tend to see cats live close to 20 or into their early 20s. It's because obviously here they get medical care. Hi. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here and I still don't have food, I'm sorry. Kelly, that's great. You'll be here in a couple weeks. We do guided educational tours every day of the week, but Thursdays, it's our only day we're closed. It's a big project day. And you can learn all about that at bigcatrescue.org slash tickets. You learn the cat's stories. All 
all the background, background information on how Big Cat Rescue got started. Gotta make sure you're nice and clean before breakfast and then she'll do this again for hours after breakfast. Big cats, oh, actually cats in general, spend a ton of time grooming and that's to make sure that, especially in the wild, that predators would never be able to smell food or be able to track them so they stay nice and clean. Elizabeth, you can buy tickets in person, but we really don't recommend it because you could show up and we could be totally sold out. Um, we like people to book ahead of time so we can actually make sure that we have volunteers that can be tour guides and backups. So unfortunately, you take the risk of showing up and then not actually being able to take the tour. Hi. You look like you want to flop again. You can see she's very, very old, so she's she struggles to get in some of those positions to do some grooming. She's still very spunky for her age, though. So you can see she finds workarounds if she licks the platform instead of her legs. You know, most cats lick their feet or their legs and then rub their head, face, and neck on it. She can do that with the platform. Because you're very smart. Leopards are by far one of the most intelligent big cats for sure. Very, very smart. She's going to use her little ramp to come down. And walk away because I don't have food. <laughs> All right, let's head out the gate here. Let's go see what Sundari and Jinx are up to. And Manny is on Funcation, so we might get a little glimpse of him today as well. And that's probably where we'll end for today. Uh, Chris, I'm not sure if there's a groomer assigned to Armani or if she's a grooming cat. I'm still in the little cat, so I haven't really thought uh, to look into that yet. <laughs> That's where Manny normally lives. Everything's been all cleaned up and rearranged for him to come home. I know that Lauren B, her scratch cat, is Sundari. So I'm going to go in this gate down here. And then we'll walk back over to see her. Alicia, I'm not sure actually when Manny goes back from Funcation. I heard they might be giving him a month. And I wasn't here when he went out, so I'm not totally sure. This is Sundari Leopard, another female leopard in her early 20s. Leopards love to lay around high up, as high as they can get. Oh, hi. You be careful up there on that edge. Still waking up, still waking up before breakfast. She's such a beautiful leopard. Yes, you are. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Heather, for bringing up the it's a, the All Star slots is having a contest for nonprofits, and we were chosen to be a part of it, and we could win five thousand dollars for the big cats. And it's a contest that goes, I think, into early November. If anybody has the link, they can post to that contest. That'd be wonderful. You only vote once, not like some of the other contests where you vote like constantly. It's just vote once. 
somebody can post the link. Otherwise, when I get back to my desk later, I will respond to a few of you with the link. Thank you, Heather, perfect. There's the link there. Sad bun. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for your donation. Our amazing supporters are why we can give such great care to these cats and they can live into their early 20s. She is watching Manny across the street here. What are you doing? Do not come down the long way. There you go. You see a little bit slow movement. It's hard to watch the cats get slower over the years. But even this old girl, she'll surprise you sometimes. I remember cleaning her just a few months ago and she came busting through the palmettos at me and jumped up on the side of the cage. She's never ever done that before. So you just never know. You always gotta, always gotta be careful. These guys, no matter how long they've been in captivity and around people, they are dangerous. Hi, what a cute girl. Thank you so much, Diane, for voting. Thank you to everybody who's voted already. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Rachel, for the donation. You guys can always feel good about donating to Big Cat Rescue. 100% of your donations go to the cats. And I'm very excited because Instagram just started allowing me to add a donate button in our stories. So I've been trying to do that once a day as well. Instagram is a whole untapped market for us. And I was very excited because yesterday we had a celebrity give us a shout out in their stories promoting the Big Cat Public Safety Act, which was amazing. I'm excited to share that in the meeting today. I shared it in our stories on Instagram as well. So if you guys follow us, awesome. Go check out our stories. If you don't, I highly suggest it. It's where the majority of my photos and videos go. And that's Instagram.com slash Big Cat Rescue if you're on the computer or just Big Cat Rescue. We have an orange logo as our icon and we have a little blue check mark saying that we are the verified page for Big Cat Rescue. Am I talking too much? I know. All right. I don't really want her to come down yet because I'm not going to feed her. <laughs> I'm not uh, volunteering today. So let's go say hello to Jinx. Where'd you go? He was flat catting right here until a few minutes ago. You showing off? Are you showing off? Yep, gonna eat the log. This is his new morning routine. So goofy. So Jinx is a black leopard. I heard that you could vote more than once. Yes, if you're using a different IP address. Hi, cute boy. Hi. I know. This is Jinx, a black leopard. Oh, Susan, I thought for sure you knew why we called him Flat Cat. You were on almost every live feed with us. We refer to Jinx as Flat Cat because he, in plain sight, will lay completely flat against the ground and be super convinced that he's hiding really well. And he usually is, because if he's doing it in a shadow of something, you absolutely can't see him. So a long time ago, he was sort of nicknamed Flat Cat. Oh, he's gonna go get his yellow ball now. What are you doing way back there? I can't follow you back there very easily. Suzanne, that's a great question. 
Black leopards are actually not the result of inbreeding the way that white tigers are. Uh, inbreeding creates leucism and leucism is what creates the white coat and a lot of the health defects. Whereas what Jinx is, he has melanism and that is actually a naturally occurring trait in the wild. It's actually a really great trait for them to have in the wild because they can hide really, really well. Whereas a white cat stands out like there's no tomorrow. They glow in the moonlight, whereas you'd never see Jinx at night. I'm getting that ball. So, melanism is natural, leucism is not. <laughs> I'm getting that ball. It's so silly in the mornings. Get that ball. And Jinx is about 20 years old. You can see in the sunlight. He actually does have some leopard spots. You getting it done? Getting it done. Thank you so much, Jerry, for your donation. That has Nikita roaring in the background. Yeah, that's probably maybe a five or eight pound ball that he's thrown around. Is Nikita giving orders? Oh, that's very sweet. Spots pretty well there as well. Yep, you definitely can't take the playfulness or the unpredictable traits out of a cat. <laughs> uh, Alicia, we have a lot of cats here that were declawed very badly, but yes, he, he was declawed and definitely already has some arthritis and occasionally has sort of a little hiccup in his walk because of it. Now he's rubbing all over his platform back there. Well, if you guys have just joined in, we saw uh, Cyrus and Chaos Caracal, Nikita Lion, we worked our way down the leopards, so we saw Natalia, Armani, Sundari, and now we're here with Jinx. You can rewatch this when it starts over after it posts on our main page or at dailybigcat.com, which is our secondary YouTube channel. can't follow him over there. We got the tunnel to Funcation in the way there. So silly. All right, I was gonna swing over and see if I saw Manny, but I don't. He's most likely already into breakfast. So thank you guys so, so much. This was a really fun live. We saw Natalia scratch her tree. Jinx, absolutely adorable. Both of, or actually all three of our leopard girls being absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys so much for joining today. Thank you again for the donations and all of the shares. That's how we reach new people. And we really wanna educate as many people as possible about why big cats don't belong in captivity. So thank you guys so much. We'll watch Sundari make her way down as she spotted keepers with actual food. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day and we'll try to go live again tomorrow and we'll try to see some tigers tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.